A couple of topics came up for me this morning. Or this morning, I'm used to the older workshops. This early afternoon, uh, and one of them um, was regarding. I listen to a lot of older workshops where you'll say, you know, don't ask anybody to do anything to make you feel better. Don't try to make things happen. And I have a situation where we're just encouraging you not to calibrate to where the power isn't. Okay calibrate to where it is we'll be very brief here it's like what conditional love is if you can change this condition so that when I look at it I'll feel better then I'll feel better but it trains you into looking for love in all the wrong places looking for alignment in all the wrong places so that's what that's about of course it's wonderful when you take your bag of marbles that is all lighted up with love and appreciation people are gonna fall all over you doing nice things for you and we're not encouraging you to say no no go away from me we just want you to be in the vibration that attracts it not need to see it in order to have it that's the difference unconditional love is loving because that's your natural state and because you want it and because you've learned to calibrate to it and then everything that comes in response to that yeah I think my confusion comes from a situation where the house next to mine the landlord uh, has a tree in the backyard a very large oak that's about 90% dead and I don't really think about it that much but like I had a landscape guy on my property a few weeks ago and he's like looking at it and thinking you know that tree is is leaning a little toward your garage and your house and you know you, I, you know I, I don't really think about it I don't feel like I'm a vibrational match to anything but then this morning or earlier today when uh, you were talking about Esther's situation where she had the impulse to uh, toss the, the bottle into the other suitcase and she overrode it. Um, my impulse was when that guy was saying that to me was, well, I don't know how to contact this landlord outside of mailing him a letter. Maybe I could just write him a letter saying, this is what the tree looks like right now. I uh, just thought I would let you know. <laughs> the question is, when you have an impulse, if you're aware of how you're feeling in the now, and you are, Esther too, when you have the impulse, ask yourself, is the impulse coming from the upper half of the emotional scale? Is the impulse coming from alignment? Is it a message from source? Or is the message coming from guardedness? And it takes a little practice to get so that you can feel it. And the other factor that really, really affects this is how much does it matter? In other words, that bottle of stuff, it matters, but not like a tree falling on your house. You said, I don't think about it that much, but a person who looked at it, who's an expert thought about it. What would his role be in that? Would he remove the tree? He's not a, um, he doesn't cut down trees. He just does landscaping. He was just kind of looking around. He's like, yeah, that tree does not look good. Um, and he's like, because he, he's worked for me before. And I, I live in an old craftsman bungalow that runs from front to back. He's like, you don't sleep in that back bedroom, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, it's just me. So I don't, you know, it's not like somebody else is there. Um, but it's just, well... I'm not worried but so here's how it goes so let's say that you are considering that from the lower half of the scale because you're a practical person and because you like to stay ahead of things you don't like to get into debt and you like to do the things that you mean to do in other words you're deliberate about the way you live your life and so let's say that you are feeling some vulnerability about that tree and a little annoyance about it not much concern and vulnerability let's leave it there which are strong negative emotions if that's the case and so let's say that you feel that discord and you act from that discord so you do write the letter and it's ignored or you do write the letter and you get a rebuke or you do write the letter and the person says well you can take it down if you want to in other words let's say that you move ahead with that and then you would know for sure there are two ways to know what you've got going on vibrationally one is by the way it feels which is pre manifestation the other is by the way it manifests which is post manifestation so now we've role played that a little now let's say that you've decided to look for some existing matches 
not just about that but about other things like these are nice neighbors is that true um, it's you know it's uh, somebody who doesn't live on the property and um, he's you know hasn't been all that interested in concerns that say like the, the woman who lives on the other side of that house has some concerns that she wanted addressed and he ignored those so and... there's some stuff in the hopper already isn't there yes yeah. so there's some stuff already going on about it and you can feel that there's some stuff going on about it so what do you think we're just gonna ask you straight up what do you think is your best probability which is a more spiritual way of saying chance what do you think is your probability of finding a satisfying solution as things currently exist with this person to stay focused on what it is and take action from there or to look for some existing matches that hook you up with what you want and here's what we mean by this stay with us we're over time again but we want to follow through on this anytime you've looked at that house and worried about it you put what you want in your vortex and what is it well-being well-being of your property well-being really of the tree well-being about the landscape well-being is what you put there and so anytime you're focused in a way that contradicts this that you want you're gonna feel discord and so what you want to do is make your bag of marbles this is really practical way to approach this make your bag of marbles full of or have many subjects in it that are about who you are and how you want to live I like being a good neighbor I like getting along I like that we are a lot of people sharing this planet I like that now maybe that's an easy existing match to make and maybe it isn't I like that someone owns that property still we're hitting a little too head-on it's hard for you to find resonance with that I like that that tree has remained standing for a long time still hitting it too head-on I like that there's someone that I could contact hitting it too head-on pretty day it's off the subject and it seems stupidly simple but when you do that your bag of marbles changes just a little bit I like how when it really matters I usually figure it out you know that's true about yourself I like how things do work out for me I like how things work out for most people different vibration existing matches give us some existing matches easy matches easy things for you to focus on that your inner being is also focused upon thoughts that you can think that blend you with your inner being on or off that subject go as far from it or as close to it as you want to I, I love my house oh did you feel that did you feel that I love my house and it's natural to feel protective of something that you love it's just not good for what you're protecting if you feel protective about it I love my house did you say my existing house I love my existing house I love my house I love my house now that's so powerful because when that's what's in that bag of marbles that you take into the law of attraction field I love my house and it's the only vibration about that house that you have that tree cannot fall on your house because it cannot defy the law of attraction so when you feel that uncomfortable feeling a bit fostered by your neighbor over there and a bit fostered by the tree guy because he's just looking for trouble you know he just is he's just looking for disease and rot and decay and that is what he just looks for he's just oriented that way those are his existing matches in other words while he was there did he point out oh that's healthy oh that's the most beautiful specimen of that that I've ever seen did he give you any of that no did he compliment anything or did he only see the problem yeah so what do you want your bag of marbles to be love of your house or fear that it's about to be crushed <laughs> pretty easy to hear isn't it mm -hmm. this is a really good time for a segment of the question.